uh, tech and music is absolutely the, the, the whole change from uh, the new radio is streaming. And uh, streaming playlists, uh, streaming in general is for every artist uh, very, very important. Uh, with social media, with all the followers we have, and that is where our main uh, projects and, and aims are to have a better uh, split and a fair level playing ground for the independents, which I represent as well. Well, the most important trend happening is, it, it, when you look at, at my, in my side, is, is, is really to the, the, the get the right context out of the data. You know, you're already seeing like, you know, management companies transforming into tech companies which are busy with business intelligence systems to maintain the relationships with their fans. When you're not doing that, actually, without proper intelligence, you will die. For the future, uh, the privacy, the use of personal data of people. If you go to a festival, if you buy a ticket, uh, once you, you, you bought a ticket, uh, yeah, you allow the event organizer to use uh, personal data. Uh, it's interesting for, uh, for a commercial purpose, of course, but also on the privacy aspect. In a world, in the internet, uh, privacy is, is nothing everybody is saying. Yeah, uh, we see the same with, with festivals uh, at the moment. That's an interesting topic. Of course, uh, the way of uh, digital exploitation of your music, you can do it yourself. It's an, you don't need a label, uh, for instance, for just releasing your music. You can do it your own. Uh, it's still interesting. Okay, we have it since the uh, end of the 90s, but nowadays it's still a topic. Uh, how to do it yourself and uh, what to do with your rights and how to earn money from it, etc. The most important trend happening right now is that the European Commission uh, has presented a, uh, a strategy on the development of the internal single uh, digital market. and. What we, and we see this as an opportunity to modernize uh, a copyright in such a way that it is beneficial again for European creators. What happens now is that never in history so much money has been spent on creativity um, in Europe, but never in history so little was earned by creators. And that is because uh, most of the money uh, goes to tech companies, goes to Facebook, to Google, to SoundCloud, who benefit from this uh, from this money and the the creators don't see a cent well in the u.s streaming grew uh almost by 100 percent year over year from 2014 to 2015. it grew so much that when they, the the editorial that was done by billboard attributed um, streaming as a kind of the integral or key factor for a growth in the entire recorded music market by 15 percent and as you know the recorded, recorded music it has, has had some very tough years, and then in even the most recent years, that kind of growth was, has, hasn't existed. So for me, that, that's very telling, and like the, one of the big questions around streaming is kind of scale and growth, and like what the timing of that, and no one can predict the future, but that, that's fantastic news. I always say metadata. I always say metadata. This is the most important thing ever. Metadata, 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 metadata. Metadata is the most important thing ever. It doesn't matter what you what you're doing. If you're even if you if you're releasing a video and your metadata isn't correct, and you put it on YouTube and it doesn't say, oh, buy this track on, on iTunes because the metadata is wrong at the in the back end, it's it's from that to not getting your uh, Sena or not getting your Buma because your your administration is not is not right. One of the things that I think is a big opportunity today is uh, we're doing two days of uh, panel sessions regarding data monetization, uh, where you can find a lot of solutions regarding data and what uh, that can bring to the industry. Because uh, I've been saying for the last three years, I think in a lot of panels and a lot of presentations that I'm doing, that we're a data-driven industry. And it's starting to really resonate within the industry itself now. And I can see a lot of companies starting to really dig deep into their data and starting to work together with other companies as well. Another area which is of course always a thing still going on is regarding like, okay, where does streaming really sit and what, how does it really affect the industry? So that's more of a discussion point. And that's something, it's, a, it's been a disruptive innovation, so to say. So I think there's a lot of discussion still going on in that and like, should we accept it? Should we fight it? The biggest one, in my opinion, this year, which we brought is the technology which sits beneath Bitcoin, which is called blockchain, which could be a huge solution and a different approach on the way that we remunerate on music and the way that we approach copyright. And it's in its infancy. It's really small today in the, in the solutions. It's more of a, a promise like, okay, Bitcoin can do a lot of stuff, or sorry, blockchain can do a lot of stuff 
which we've been looking for, I think, in the last 20 to 30 years on finding, okay, where's music being used? How can we get the money from that directly to the makers? Um, how do we get that information going? Mm -hmm. How do we make it safe? A lot of huge questions which seem to be locked in that little bit of technology which could really promise to bring something new. Yeah. We, we, we talk about this issue for now for four or five years and I think uh, this year w w will be uh, the success year. People are really seeing that personalization, relevant content is, is necessary to survive or to do better, better business or to, to have a lo more loyal fans or whatever. For me, I think using data well is genuinely an important trend. And I think the risk for data is there is a fascination with being able to answer every question one can think of. The skill is to limit yourself to the questions that are valuable. And by valuable, I mean they either tell you something you didn't know and you need to know, or they are actionable, so they help you make a decision based on that data. So when you look at data, think, Okay, irrespective of what the data says, there are only three things I can do in response to it. Let me make sure the question I ask helps me choose which of these three things I can do. So having the answer in mind, data is not a miracle cure, it's a guide to answers that you should construct. It seems to be a really big focus, obviously, on music discovery, which kind of gets a little frustrating for me, just because how, much music dis how many takes on music discovery can we have? Yeah. Um, but that's okay, because without it, people don't get discovered. And just because there's so many more bands, it's so much easier to get music out there than ever. Um, discovery does have to be kind of at the forefront. Yeah. So that's one, that's, that's one of the things. Um, I'm also really big on um, how people experience live music together. And uh, whether that's, and especially with like VR happening and like how that's going to affect like how people have a concert experience or live music experience or how artists are able to push their art out.